Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy Terrence Carter, and I am here, back at it again, with another great video. Now, today is the first official trading day in 2024 for the stock market. As y'all can see here, this is where prices is at pre-market. It also shows it here. And that basically means that the market is taking a bit of a pullback, which is definitely what we needed. You know, um, last year, the markets definitely did very, very good. We had a very, very great year. I know they were pumping a lot of fear earlier when um, the year first started. And, you know, just pushing a lot of fear mongering. And I know this year they're probably going to do the exact same thing, <laughs> you know, but this is why you pay attention to opportunities and you take full advantage of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, these videos that I'm here to make, I'm just here to really like help people look at the bigger picture when it comes down to investing into the market and you know learning to just pay yourself first now if you're new to the channel and if you're new to these videos this is my watch list here on the right aka the companies that i do hold in my portfolio and um yeah i just want to continue to bring you guys along the journey now earlier this rising and just not too long ago i was listening to this audio book me and marvelous and this audio book definitely has been doing like justice you know um i will leave the link in the description below if you guys do want to check it out and i'll even let y'all listen to some of it so right now i'm at like 20 minute mark as you can see here so i'll let y'all listen to some of it because why not Those include real estate content sites and dividend investments having multiple business what are some items that can be rented out what services can you offer remotely? What are some options for selling content and courses online? Consider expanding your sources of income, both through active and passive means. Generating active income involves investing your time and effort into activities such as freelancing, consulting, or managing an e-commerce store. Assets that generate income with little effort are what generate passive income. Examples include real estate, content sites, and dividend investments. Now you heard what he said. Real estate, content, and dividends. Right? So, real estate number one, because real estate is going to be around forever. These buildings, they are going to continue to, as far as like, if you're paying rent, the rents are going to continuously go up each year. And real estate itself is a cash flowing asset that you should always like remember, you know, whether you're owning real estate in the stock market or you have physical real estate that you own, you still know that the cash flow is the most important part. And people will always need places to live and jobs will always need buildings, right? So... Real estate is always going to be around. Um, and dividends, if you're in the markets, if you're in the stock market, you know that owning dividend-paying companies are key to your portfolio as well. Whether the company pays uh, every month or whether they pay every three months, you still know that you need the cash flow because that's the name of the game, you know? And... Um, that brings you that peace of mind as well. Especially when markets are taking a dip, you know that regardless of the fact, I still have dividend paying companies that are gonna pay me regardless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but let's continue. Having multiple streams of income can offer you stability and flexibility to live life on your own terms. Certain revenue sources may increase or decrease over time. However, when these elements are brought together, they can result in a vast amount of wealth instead of relying on a single, unpredictable source. 
Break free from mindsets of dependency and scarcity. You possess a wealth of untapped potential that the world eagerly awaits. Build your successful empire by discovering and profiting from your individual talents, one income stream at a time. Lesson seven. Save and invest the wealth. Listen to what you just said, yeah. Save and invest. That's why I'm gonna keep telling you own assets and save your money and curve the clubs, curve the bars, curve your friends that wanna have fun. That don't care about your financial future. Curve all of that. Alright. This is. Bro. It's a new year. So like. This is really where you. Gotta lock in. And stay tunnel vision bro. Like it's not a game. This is. Real life. <laughs> you know. And. In this human experience bro. Like. You gotta. You gotta realize like. Distractions. That are in front of you. Meaning. Like I said. The clubs. The bars. You know, anything that's not really serving your, your your purpose or helping you reach your goals, like, real talk. And then you got to also embrace, like, opportunities. You know? So, but let's continue. Building basics. Wealth is often associated with fancy cars, lavish vacations, and expensive taste. However, it is important to recognize that long-term financial success begins by becoming proficient in fundamental and practical skills, such as saving and investing. Growing your wealth is not about making a fortune quickly, but rather about nurturing what you already possess with patience. Start by spending less than what you earn and making it a habit to save a portion of your income regularly. This savings pool is the foundation for your capital which will eventually lead you to financial freedom in the future. Just like tending to a garden, this process calls for patience and careful attention. Spread out your investments across various assets to minimize risks. Navigate through market cycles by maintaining a long-term outlook. Ensure the preservation of your growing wealth by safeguarding it against the impact of inflation or taxes. Building true wealth requires patience and nurturing what you already possess, rather than falling for get rich. Quick schemes. Begin your journey towards financial growth by making smart choices with your savings and investments. Cultivate these habits gradually, and watch your finances flourish into a bountiful garden that provides for you throughout your life. Having a budget is crucial to avoid falling into the trap of overspending and accumulating debt. You're always worried about your finances and feel like you have no say in how your money is spent. Creating a budget helps you take control of your finances by allowing you to be purposeful with your money. You can easily allocate your money across necessities, savings goals, and fun expenses. This straightforward spending plan and priorities system empowers you to take control. Of course, there may be some obstacles and changes in direction during the journey. Life is full of unexpected events. Certain expenses may surpass your initial estimates. No worries. A budget enables you to make necessary adjustments and corrections. All right, that audio book is greatness. So a couple things I want to show you right quick. Before the markets open up, right now it is 9.10. As I can see right here. So a couple things I want to show you Right now, pre-market, Amazon is about to open up at 150, right? Once again, that's a great pullback. Uh, we finished off the year at 151.95. Well, 151.94, excuse me. My bad. And this slight pullback that we're about to take is another great opportunity for those that are invested in Amazon. Now, I put these two arrows here on the computer as I can see. First arrow is where the price is going to be targeted at, which is here. And then the second arrow is the uptrend. So if we catch an uptrend off of this 150, we'll definitely see Amazon recover, you know? But every time you see, hold on. Every time that you see a pullback, like I tell y'all, y'all gotta take advantage of the opportunity, right? So it's only a dollar and 16 that the pullback is at right now. Which is actually like, like I said, it, to me, it was, it was well needed, 
because the way that Amazon and Apple, even like the way that technology, the sector has been moving last year, it's been a, a real good like recovery year. So, um, but yeah, that's in real time. One fifty seventy eight pre market, and then we gonna go to Apple right quick. So Apple, mm, the big dogs. All right, so. 188 that's i like that i ain't gonna front apple under 190 is it still i don't care apple under 200 is it still that's for anybody so right here is another slight pullback right as y'all can see Ooh. so they got this target all the way down here free lane so Apple does this pullback here. Markets could definitely make a recovery because all of this is free lane. So the way that y'all gotta understand the markets at times is like I tell y'all, like if you're in you're you're an investor in a market, right? And you see in prices and you seeing them fluctuate, you seeing them hit a high, then you seeing them hit a low. You have to be able to, like I tell you all the time, like take full advantage of the opportunities. You know? Um Apple definitely will make a recovery in my opinion. It's just the first day of the trading year. So we 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 know how this goes. Even the first week. The first week may seem like you may just see a pullback, but Overall, take advantage of these prices. Like I said, Apple under 200 in general is a steal. And here at this price range, 188.19, it's definitely a goodie. All right, but overall, we're going to just focus on the spy. And, ooh, hold on, my bad. The spy overall. Like I said, we gonna have us a good, a good little run. So this pullback here, for anybody that's gonna pay attention to the sell off, it's gonna be here, right? Even if spy dips again, even if, bro, even if the spy dips to the 471, 470, take advantage. It's a new year, all right? Stay present in these markets, bro. And see opportunities every single time real talk so but i just want to make this video before the markets do open up if y'all enjoyed the content give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave your comments below and also too make sure y'all listen to this audio book bro like like i said i will leave it in the description below and also too i'm almost done with the with the presentation for y'all right so we out here. Hold on. Oh, all right, I wanted it to load. There we go. But yeah, almost done with that. But like, comment, subscribe. More stock market content coming to y'all. See my attention. No fat videos, all that good stuff. It's your boy Terrence Carter. Yes, sir.